So today we'll be getting into some stories with Brock Lesnar, Mandy Rose, Roman, and more. Let's start things off with this Mandy Rose and Otis storyline. Mandy Rose and Otis's storyline played a big role on SmackDown during the early stages of the pandemic era in WWE. The story originally started in December 2019 and featured a shy Otis building the courage to ask out his crush, Maddie Rose. It sounds like something you'd see in every generic sitcom, but this was WWE storyline and actually was well written and was a fan favorite storyline for the most part. It started off with just Otis asking Maddie Rose, but it had a lot of great twists and turns along the way. Mandy and Otis were set to go on their date around Valentine's Day, but Sonia and Dolph were plotting behind the scenes to keep them apart. That led to Sonia stealing Mandy's phone to text Otis and sabotage the timing of the date. That would lead to Otis showing up late and Ziggler already being with Mandy Rose at the table. The Mandy Rose and Otis storyline also had the SmackDown hacker. After the cancellation of the hacker character, this ended up being the only reveal that the hacker character actually made in WWE. He revealed Sonya Deville's plan and that kickstarted this storyline into Dolph Ziggler vs Otis and Mandy vs Sonya. Mandy and Otis had this big moment with their kiss at WrestleMania 36, marking the start of their on-screen relationship. It took four months to finally get them together on screen, but it didn't last long. It looks like once they got together, WWE didn't have much of a direction for them. The Miz would make a call and get Mandy Rose traded to Raw. A lot of fans pointed this out because it was a bit hard to believe that a regular superstar had power to get superstars moved and traded between brands. WWE explained it by saying that The Miz has close connections with USA Network since he has a reality show with them, so it made a little bit of sense. So Mandy goes over to Raw and forms a tag team with Dana Brooke, while Otis lost his money in the bank to The Miz and later turned heel with Chad Gable. The only downside to this entire storyline is that there's no proper ending to it. That's the main issue. Mandy traded to Raw, Otis stayed on SmackDown, but us the audience have no clue if they're still together or if they broke up off screen. Well, Mandy Rose gave everyone a slight update on things with Otis. This week marked a big change for Otis's physical appearance. Otis got rid of his signature beard that he's had since the beginning of his WWE run. It's a new look for the heel version of Otis. A lot of people have mixed feelings on the removal of his beard, but it makes sense. That beard was mostly in relation with babyface, goofy Otis. So you take that beard away from him that everyone knows, and that opens up the possibility for him to just reinvent himself. Mandy Rose responded to the new beardless Otis by posting a frown emoji on Twitter. That's all we got from Mandy Rose, so it's hard to tell what that really means. Obviously, Mandy isn't happy with Otis's change, but once again, there's still no official word on the character's relationship. Are they still together or has Mandy called things off with Otis for the changes he's been making lately? Well, just speculating it would make sense if they broke up off screen. Otis lost money in the bank, lost Tucker, lost Mandy Rose, lost everything. A character that was once on top of the world suddenly feels back to being nothing. Maybe that was his motivation to align with Chad Gable for his heel turn. So when you look at things like that, a breakup with Mandy Rose gives Otis even more good reasoning to become this vicious heel character. However, it's still hard to believe that there's no official update on Mandy Rose and Otis. Otis looks to take himself to new levels with this new look, while Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke are the only other tag team in the women's division, besides the champions. So they got their eyes on gold as well. But what are your thoughts on this situation with Mandy Rose and Otis? Brock Lesnar makes surprise appearance on SmackDown? Well, technically, this is a real story. This all happened during Bailey's Ding Dong Hello Show. When Bailey's name graphic popped up, it popped up as WWE Champion Brock Lesnar. Obviously a SmackDown name graphic that was during the back half of 2019 when he defeated Kofi Kingston. The name graphic lasted on screen for barely a second before being pulled off screen. It was obviously a mistake by someone in production. 
The fact that Bailey and Brock Lesnar both start with the name B likely means the individual typed B and accidentally clicked on the wrong name. So, it was just an accident, but you have a lot of WWE conspiracy theorists wondering if this was actually a hint that Brock Lesnar is coming back soon. Obviously, WWE won't give away a Brock Lesnar hint like that in that fashion, but it's still being discussed. When it comes to Brock Lesnar's return, both brands are pretty much in play for him. He can go have his dream match with Bobby Lashley on Raw or go face Roman Reigns on SmackDown. Bobby Lashley continues to hype up this fight with Brock Lesnar, but nothing is confirmed as of late. The way Lashley continues to talk about the match really makes you think that maybe he knows something we all don't. Maybe he's trying to talk it into existence or knows it's going to happen because the conversation has never stopped with him. But yeah, it was a small mistake that got a lot of fans to pick up on. Roman Reigns' story continues to be the best thing going in WWE by far. The story continued this week with Roman Reigns demanding to speak with Jimmy. But Jimmy has been against Roman Reigns since returning and likes to play hardball with Roman. So instead of listening to every demand and going to see Roman in Roman's locker, Jimmy demands for Roman to come to Jimmy and Jay's locker room. Roman agreed, but he of course works on his own time, so he showed up to Jimmy's locker room whenever he felt like going. It was also the first time we've really been inside Jimmy and Jay's locker room in quite some time. There were some nice subtle background details, such as Jay's Andre the Giant trophy as well. Roman showed up to their locker room and instantly starts going back and forth with Jimmy. Jay, as always, is caught in the middle with Roman and Jimmy, both trying to pull him to their sides. Jay gets fed up and walks away from the both of them. This is when Roman puts his full power of manipulation on display. Jimmy seems to really start fighting with Roman, but Roman smartly de-escalates the situation by using his words. This is probably the most scary characteristic about Roman. It's not the fact that he's unstoppable, powerful, and all that. His most dominant trait is the power of manipulation and this entire psychological warfare that pulls on people. Roman is able to break Jimmy down by only using words and manipulating him. Roman convinces Jimmy to make things right with Jay, not because he cares for them as a tag team. He made Jimmy do that because he knows that he needs Jay by his side personally. So Roman is guilt tripping Jimmy into basically fixing everything with Jay, and that's doing Roman a favor at the same time. So just perfect storytelling, perfect character interaction and conflict. You really just can't ask for anything else from this story. Roman's story perfectly covers all grounds. On top of the inner conflict with his family, Roman Reigns has now met his latest challenger, Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio and Dominic did try to pull a fast one and set Roman Reigns up in a trap to get their revenge. But as we all saw on SmackDown, their plan failed terribly. Roman took them both out to close out the show, but Ray will challenge him inside Hell in a Cell. This match should look sort of similar to Brock vs. Ray. Roman will dominate it for the most part, but there may be a point where Dominic gets involved and it looks like Ray Mysterio may actually win. But Roman will overcome all odds to defeat Ray Mysterio. Similar to a theory we talked about several weeks ago, maybe Dominic gets a match with Roman Reigns as well. Maybe just a filler program until they're ready to start Roman's SummerSlam story. Which reports still seem to be including will be John Cena. So, maybe Roman continues things here with the Mysterios for a few more weeks and that leads up to Cena's story. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys!